We got a two door face. We got a rolly face and another rolly face followed by <laughs> another Rolex face. This is a, a C dweller right here. Super fire. What's up YouTube? Today I'm literally gonna show you guys how to get these custom watch faces and watch bands for your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and Watch 5. No matter which one you own, you will be able to follow these directions and get this look, which is a more traditional, nice, high class, classy look in my opinion. So I will be showing to you as well as highlighting and linking down below all customizations made to these smartwatches so you guys can get linked to the watch bands, which I have this rose gold one here, this black stainless steel, there's also silver available as well as I think um, regular gold. And then we have a nice other rose gold Milanese and as well as traditional black watch bands stainless steel for the watch five pro that I have put on, which has this nice class and things like that. So starting here, I put this on my galaxy watch five pro as well as a regular galaxy watch five. And this is a really nice quality band. I had one previously to this on the galaxy watch five pro and I didn't like it cause it didn't have that same quality and build that I'm all about. So I'm going to be linking you guys this one. The only thing about this one, it does not have the quick release pins that we're used to on a lot of these smartwatches. So it gives you the tool necessary to do it. It's just a more tedious job. But once you get this on, if you're into these style bands, this band looks amazing on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro or Watch 5, either or. High quality, check the link down in the description below for this watch band. Before we get to the watch band that I love most, my favorite, I'm testing this one for the first time today right here. So this is a traditional style Milanese band that you tend to get in the aftermarket. And what I love about this one, I will say that now I have a smaller, uh, what, like approximate six inch wrist and it's able to accommodate that. That's something important too. But what I love about this one is where it connects to the watch. This part is still as well. So full stainless steel build. I've had these in the past where this part is plastic. That's a no-go, that's cheapo. So I'm bringing you quality. So if you like this style, uh, rose gold, and I'm pretty sure they have black and silver as well. You can hit the link down in the description below. It'll be under like Milanese. So I'll, um, I'll link them in the order that I show them. So this is on the Galaxy Watch 5 40 millimeter, which is a nice light yet classy band that you can use, still be active with but not heavy and bulky and just like throwing off the comfort. This is still comfortable, super light, super classy. So it's a good ideal watch band. Now for my favorite, these right here. And these are not the only colors available. These are really well designed, really well built stainless steel smartwatch bands. I got the rose gold on my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. I have a black stainless steel one on my Watch 5. They also have silver. They have a uh, regular gold. And I believe another color. Yeah, like this uh, iridescent style color. These watch bands are great. These are my new favorite go-to watch bands. As you can see, when I first started this video, the one that I was wearing, which is my favorite, is this rose gold one on my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Boom. These are quality and these are worth it. So I have these linked down. These will probably be above the other two bands because these are my favorite and I'll literally like name it my favorite uh, watch band. But these I highly recommend above every other watch band that I show you in this video because of the style. Now you adjust the size in here. You get this to lock in, it locks in place. And it, what I love about it, it's always there. So literally no matter what, I don't have to like guess at my size with the magnets and all that. It's always the size that I set it to. And that's a big part of why these are my favorite. It's not just that, it's the quality, you guys. So let me show you guys the black stainless steel one on my wrist. This is with the Galaxy Watch 5. And as I stated with the other band, speaking on being able to be active with it, it being light and not uh, heavy, this is the same. So honestly, whether I'm trying to go for a lighter less weight style experience or whether I'm going for a bigger, uh, you know, watch face wear, no matter what these watch combinations are light and ideal. All right, let's get into the watch face. 
what a lot of you guys have been asking me about. As you guys can see, we got different style watch faces on all of these watches. Let me show you guys my watch faces. Hold on. Boom. We got a two-door face. We got a rolly face and another rolly face. Followed by <laughs> another Rolex face. This is a, a sea dweller right here. Super fire. And all of these watch faces are interchangeable amongst all of Galaxy watches, as you guys can see on my Watch 4 Classic, and then on this one, another two-door, two-door and Rolex. Boom, these are super fire. These take your smartwatch and turn them into a, I don't know what you wanna call it, but it, it, it does it. It does it well for them. It turns them into a classy piece of tech. The process is like this, you guys. You're gonna get your Galaxy phone. Number one, you wanna make sure that your watch is up to date and connected via your Galaxy Wear app. So. You're gonna go into your Galaxy wearable app from Samsung, make sure everything's connected and up to date, number one. Number two, you're going to get an app called Watchmaker. Now, Watchmaker, I believe it's changed its name kinda when you go into the app store. Uh, it might say like watch faces or something like that. So now when you go to the Play Store, Watchmaker, what used to be known as Watchmaker and still can be searched under Watchmaker, is called Watch Face, Watch Faces. Watchmaker. Now the key to this, you're gonna to go to the Play Store because we're using this new Wear OS, you know, combination of Samsung and Google. You get the free version of the app and then you get the premium. You see this premium right here? Now this is gonna cost you something. I'm not sure of the exact price, but it's worth it because this is the only way you're gonna be able to do this. So you get the premium, which allows you to onload these custom watch faces. Now the next thing, the custom watch faces. Where do I get the custom watch faces? There's a link down in the description below to the website that you're gonna go to. Now this website, it, it, it's a funny website because it I have all of the watch faces linked and then you click on them and then there's this long page with all of these pictures, but you gotta scroll down and you gotta find the link that says download now and click that link and then the watch face will go onto your smartphone device. Click on download and it's gonna take you to Dropbox. All you have to do is hit continue to website. You're gonna hit this download right here and then you're gonna tap direct download. And then you're gonna hit download and literally it's gonna download it to your files. You're gonna go into wherever you download it though. So let me go to my files really quick because what I did was I just took my watch faces from my previous Galaxy watch. So if you guys are upgrading and you have watch faces on your older phone, say if you're going to a new phone, you can, you know, Samsung quick share them. So that's what I did. I just quick shared them. So you're going to see they're in my quick share folder. So if I go to downloads, go to quick share, these are all of the different watch faces. Now to get these watch faces onto my watch, I have to go into, let me show you, oh wait, the watch face, watchmaker app, right? And where you're going to go is into my watches. And as you can see, these are all of the watch faces that I have on this Z Fold 4 as of right now. Pulled out the Z Fold 4 because the bigger display you get to see, you know what I mean? We're gonna see it in that Fold display. Now, if I wanted to add one of those watch faces that are in a folder, my downloads folder, more than likely for you guys, what you're gonna do is hit these three dots up here and you're gonna go to import watch. Now, as you can see, it takes me to where my watch faces are because this is the last place I imported from. So let me try a two-door, what's this? We got this two-door silver. I'm not sure if I have that on here. And as you can see, it imports it. And then the next thing is to send it to the watch, you're gonna tap here. And then it's sending to the watch, which is the watch that I'm wearing. Now, I've had instances where this process took longer than it should have. And if you face that, go into the Galaxy wearable app and open it and make sure that it's connected to the watch and so forth. But in my previous experience, at one point, I did have an issue. And it was only with the Galaxy Watch 5, not with the Watch 5 Pro. So as you guys can see, that is on my watch face. A key feature I left out when getting the apps, I'll go back. You have to get the companion app. And literally, before you are able to send a watch face to the watch, like you just saw me do, it's going to tell you about the companion app. And it's going to say, like, open it on your watch and then your watch is going to go to the play store and it's going to download the companion app now in the past when i first did this the companion app was another small fee i'm not sure if it's going to be that way for you guys 
with it being in the Play Store. So the companion app gets unloaded to the watch. There's a key with the companion app is how do you get that watch face on to your watch so that you can use it? Let me show you guys. Now, typically when you're selecting your watch, so you're gonna long press, you're gonna get to the options. Now, but when you first install watch faces, watchmaker, it's not going to be up here. You're gonna have to go to the very end. You're gonna have to hit add new watch face. And then you're gonna scroll to the very end again. And when you get to the very end, Hold on, see, there go that digital crown. You should see like, uh, um, it'll be like a red uh, background with like a white outline watch face, which is the, the uh, logo for a watchmaker. You're gonna tap on that. Once you do that, you in full effect, baby. You are able to enjoy all of these dope, fun watch faces at your disposal, like literally. And this is my favorite thing to do the second I get a new Galaxy Watch. So. Um, let me go in here. Let's go back into this app. Let's go to my watch faces, right? And let's send another cool watch face that may not be on here. I don't think the two-door heritage black base still is on there. So tap that. We're going to send it over. Oh, that's already on there. That one's fire. I like that one. Uh, let's see if we go back to where we were. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this Oyster Perpetual, which I like. Let's show you guys that. What else is there? Let's throw in this Brightman right here, Super Ocean. Okay, so this one is not on the watch. And that's another reason why storage on your watch matters. Now these watch faces, they don't take up a lot of uh, storage, but you know, they are going on to your storage of your watch. And once they're on the watch, you can change them on the watch. You don't need the phone. The phone is just to send them and get them onloaded. But once they're onloaded, as you can see, I can hold, go to customize, and then all of these watch faces that have been onloaded are already here. And then there's also other settings that you can get in here and change within Watchmaker's app. So play with the app, go on that website, find some dope watch faces, download them onto your phone, and then onload them into your app and then into your watch. And then you guys can have all of these dope watch faces that I have. A lot of people were asking me about this two-door. If you want to know where I got it, the link is down in the description below. Go look at all their two-door watches. They have pictures. You find this one. This one has kind of like that rose gold tint, which matches my rose gold band. I absolutely love this. This is exactly how you get your Galaxy Watch to have an individual, customized appearance, as well as a conversational piece. When I turn my wrist and they're like, yo, my guy got the Breitling. My guy got the Roly face. My guy has the custom watch band on a digital nerd watch, quote unquote, <laughs> I'm just playing, but on a digital piece of tech. Absolutely fire, absolutely phenomenal. My name is CJ Unplug. I am your smart watch guru. Hit the subscribe button and tick the bell because you don't want to miss this content. I'm just a normal tech consumer like you sharing my expertise. Let's customize our Galaxy Watch 5 together. As you guys can see, I got the blue blue face rolling on this one. Woo! <laughs> Fuck.